Hi guys, it's Donna here. Welcome to my channel. This is North Star Tarot. We are going to talk about a tarot deck. I just want to look at the structure of a tarot deck, what's included in a tarot deck, um, what the main parts are, so that you can better understand when you have a reading and your reader says, oh, that's a major arcana, or that's just a minor, don't worry about it, or, you know, oh, there's another court card, and you'll have an idea of what they're talking about, okay? And for yourself, if you're just learning or you want to learn, um, this is very, very good as well, okay? So first of all, most tarot decks, I'm going to say traditionally, tarot decks have 78 cards. Um, there's 22 major arcanas and 56 minor arcanas. Yeah, 56 minor arcanas. So yeah, so the 22 major arcanas, I'll pull them out here. I have, um, this is the Light Seer's deck. So here is the 22 major arcanas. Now they are normally, um, often, let's say often, they are often written with Roman numerals at the bottom. This deck is not, this is just ordinary numbers, okay? Um, the first card is the Fool and it is always zero. So it is a zero card, it is the start, it is the beginning, it is the end to the end, it is the beginning and the end. So always, always the first card is the fool, the beginning. And then it goes on from there, from one to uh, 21, which is the world, okay? And the major arcana is all about big life stuff. Um, archetypes, um, big life situations that you come across, um, you know, things you need to learn, um, um, characteristics that you can't really find anywhere else, okay? So these are archetypes. These are things like, let's just read them, okay? We have the magician. Uh, then we have the empress. Then we have the, um, I'm sorry, the High Priestess. Then the Empress. Then we have the Emperor. Uh, then we have the Hierophant, which is learning, right? Then we have the Lovers. Then we have the Chariot. Um, and then we have uh, Strength. And then we have the Hermit. Um, then we have the Wheel, you know? Um, and on and on. We have what, 22 cards of the Major Arcana, and they tap on all the archetypes, a lot of the big stuff that's going on in your life. If you get a few in a reading, they're even more impactful. If they're reversed, it'll mean something else for me. Um, I don't believe in opposites. Your reversals mean opposites. I believe that the reversals change the impact of the card, okay? So that's how I believe it. So yeah, so I'm not going to get into how to read cards right now. I just want to explain a tarot deck, okay? So anyway, that is the major arcana. Then we come to the minor arcana, and that's the 56 cards. So if you think of the Bon Arcana as a regular card deck, there are suits, okay? So in the Bon Arcana, there are four suits. Each suit carries the element, um, you know, the, 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 it carries the element of air, earth, water, and fire. And the suits are, um, you know, like the uh, pentacles is your earth. So pentacles generally is your earth. Pentacles, they can be coins. They can be, they can be other things as well. Generally, it's either pentacle or a coin. Those are the most two common, okay? Then we have, um, here, I'll just show you that. So a pentacle or a coin, okay? And then we have wands. Wands are fire, okay? Often, they reflect a color that would suit a fire sign, right? And then we have, um, they're usually sticks. They look like wands, like a wand, a stick. 
right? So they look like one. So if you can see that, you can see the different colored sticks at the bottom there, okay? So wands generally look like sticks, okay? So whatever they're, whatever they're calling it will generally look like a stick. And then swords, they can be knives, they can be all kinds of things, right? But they look like a sword. They look like an object that's very sharp, a knife, right? And this is the air sign, and this is all about intellect, right? Air in your hand, right? And then we have the cups. So cups, um, cups whole are like a vessel, right? So if you think of cups like a vessel, you'll always remember that it's it's a water sign and water reflects emotion because it's always moving. So it's emotion. It's how you're feeling, how you handle things, good, the bad, and the ugly, right? So all of that, that's where cups come in, okay? So just those are the four suits. So we have 14 cards for each suit, okay? Um, and those four, the 14 cards will all... Um, they all act as accompaniment to your other cards. So they show either an action, they show an emotion, they show what you could do here, they show your thoughts there, they show your fears, they show all that um, depending on the suit and depending on the number, okay? So each number will also can reflect a different meaning as well, right? There's lots to tarot. But anyway, uh, if you, you can take the minor arcana and divide it again, and you have um, 16 cards of, they're called court cards. Um, these are the pages, um, the knights, the queens, and the kings. Now, court cards are, some people see them as people. Okay, so some people read them as people and people only. And I just read them as characteristics. I read them as um, whatever's going on with you at the time. Um, it could be somebody helping you. It could be a person. It could not be a person. It could just be the situation at large. Okay, um, and it shows the characteristic of what's going on okay so yeah so these are strong cards and a lot of people have a difficult time reading court cards okay i like court cards they kind of give me mm, i like it when they come up um they kind of give me an idea of how the reading's going where the person is if they're in their own mind if there's too many minds involved you know, things like that, right? Um, how they're, um, and the page is generally, um, if you want to call them people or early life experience, okay? So pages are more innocent. So pages would be the innocence of a characteristic. So a characteristic that is not developed yet. Um, so say, um, they're very fearful of things they don't know because they haven't explored yet, right? But they have that enthusiasm. So pages are the beginnings of the court cards. And then we have the knights. The knights are like, I like to explain them as teenagers. You know, they like to go off and ride, ride, the, ride the horizon and get into all kinds of trouble, right? <laughs> and if they can, they can be a little reckless, right? But just think of them as teenagers in their behavior, you know? So the characteristic might be, say someone has um, fallen in love and, you know, at the beginning of the relationship, it hasn't been going on too long or if it has, it's very, very passionate. Say it's the... Say it's the um, the Knight of Wands. So Knight of Wands is all about passion, fire energy, right? So Wands, fire energy. So that passion, that excitement, taking risks and willing to go out there and get anything and, you know, and just be that person that that person wants them to be. Or it could be that they're so afraid that they run away all the time. 
you know, so that too, right? And the queens, of course, the queens are, you know, here's a queen here. You know, the queens are um, the more mature, okay? Um, they make everything okay. They bring everything back into realm. You think of a mother kind of thing, right? They're going to bring everything back into play. Um, I'm not saying they're easy to deal with. Some queens are very, very difficult to deal with. Um, and, you know, some of them have a lot to say. They're very powerful, okay? A queen is very powerful. Not female energy, okay? Does not have to be female energy. And then a king. A king, again, is like the top right? They've matured. They know where they're going. They know how to get what they want to get accomplished. That's what the kings are, okay? So they're very powerful that way in itself. So they can get what they want to get accomplished. So that is a tarot deck, essentially, okay? Now, <clears throat> when you get a reading, like I said, you'll have a little bit of an idea of what the reader's talking about if you know those three parts of the tarot deck. Also, you may have heard of pips. What the hell's a pip, right? So I know, uh, you know, many uh, clients have asked me, what's a pip? You know, so pips are the major arcanas and they're called pips when they're not illustrated by the, um, um, designer of the cards, okay, the card maker. They're very um, um, loosely illustrated, usually just the symbols, you know, just like five swords for the five of swords, or just very, very simplistically put out there, not without meaning. Some of them mean a lot, but you know, by the colors, by the way they're placed, and stuff like that, right? But um, generally speaking, a pip deck is, um, um, not illustrated and, um, it is the major, uh, the minor arcana. Okay. So that tells you what pips are. And I guess that would kind of be a start as to what you need to know. I just thought it would be a really good idea if you knew what was in these 78 cards, right? Now, some decks will have extra cards and they will have their own meaning designed by the author of the deck, okay? And that's fine. Um, you can choose to use them or don't use them if that confuses you. I have a deck that has uh, four female kings and four male kings. Um, you can use whichever ones you want. When you're learning or when you want to learn, take your deck apart and have a look at it and see the difference between the major arcana, which is the big things, okay? The big things, the archetypes, all that kind of stuff. And then the minor arcana, which is the rest of the deck, they tell the story. They tell all the everyday ins and outs, right? And then we have well, within the minor arcana are the, are the court cards. So have a look at those as well. And they kind of just carry more into it, right? So it, it's, um, it's the way you read a deck. It's the way that you interpret um, your reading that gives it spice and gives it variety, right? So anyway, I just wanted to put that out there for you guys. And I hope you get something from this. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Um, please ask me. Don't be afraid. If you want me to go through the deck step by step on how to read the deck, I would love to do that. I do teach tarot. So if you're interested in taking a course on tarot, let me know as well. Okay? And it is online. So yeah. So anyway, everybody have a wonderful night. And we will see you again very, very soon.